Really is a nice view. Swaying trees and everything. Oh. Hey, Maserati may be planning a new mid-engine model by 2015. A couple douchebags in Florida have been going for joy rides in your parked cars and be getting away with it. Plus, pricing for Ford's 2013 Focus ST, a Ford Firetruck, and Mercedes AMG thanks its Facebook fans with a drift video. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Man, is it nice out here. All right, Kat, good slating. Okay. We're going to start today with a story from our internet rumor mill. Yeah, we're starting off with that. Usually it's later, but we're starting with it. Now, the non-rumor is that Maserati has plans to increase annual sales to 50,000 units. We know that, don't we, Ian? Yeah, we do. Yes. How this will happen is where the rumors start. According to reports, Maserati CEO Harold Wester revealed the company is considering a mid-engine coupe which could be launched by 2015. Obviously, details are scarce, but the model may or may not be called the Grand Sport based on the Alfa Romeo 4C. That sounds like a pretty sexy combination if you ask me. Now, if the rumors are true, the car might use a carbon fiber or aluminum chassis plus a 4.7 liter V8 engine with a dual clutch transmission. This model probably would cost just under 200,000 bucks, so I say Maserati, go for it. What do I care? I'm not buying it. I can't afford it, so buy it and let us drive it or bring it here. If you ever park your car, or if you have a really nice car and you park it in a lot with attendance, you may have a little fear of Ferris Bueller moment happening, of a Ferris Bueller moment happening. But honestly, it'll probably never happen to you. Well, never say never if you live in Cocoa, Florida, because you could be the poor sucker that gets their ride jacked for a few hour joy ride. Now, unless you check the miles, you may never find out that it even happened. But these goons did get busted by a WFTV news chopper. That's right. After a sting had been planned by reporter Jeff Deal, the news team rented a Corvette, then had a fake couple drop it off with a GPS inside of it. Then the copter followed the vet on a joyride taken by the lot owner, Jay Nieves, and an attendant. Encountered with the evidence, Nieves was all, oh, that wasn't me, deny, deny, deny. But come on, Jay, we know. We know it was you. We watch you. At one point, you could actually see he looks up at the copter. Yeah, dude, come on, you're an idiot. People are going on cruises, so he takes their car for a couple days while they're gone for a week. Nice guy. What a douche. Oh, uh, Ford has announced pricing and pre-order openings for the Focus ST. The five-door model will start at $23,700. As a reminder, the ST comes with a 2.0-liter turbocharged EcoBoost engine. It's making how many horsepower, Cat? do you know? 252. Good guess. 252 horsepower exactly and 270 pound-feet of torque with a six-speed manual and front-wheel drive. If you want to shell out another $2,300, you can have the ST2 package with a Sony audio system with HD radio and a pair of Recaro partial leather seats. HD radio, huh? That is such a crock of <laughs> I'm listening to this in HD. It's, I, anyway, or you could pony up $4,400 extra dollars for the ST3 package, adding HID headlamps, ambient lighting, and full leather Recaro sports seats. ST3, I name that movie. All right, maybe not you, but the commenters, Ian. <laughs> oh, and speaking of Ford, they put their Ford F-550 rescue truck that was just a concept traveling the auto show circuit to actual good use. The concept was never intended to be used, but when tornadoes ripped through parts of Texas, especially Arlington, they needed all the help they could get. So the good folks over at Ford sent down this F-550 rescue truck, and apparently it went above and beyond expectations Nice job, Ford. Now, I guess this isn't a concept anymore, is it, Ian? No. It's been used for actual work. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Build them. And Mercedes was so happy about hitting two mil Mercedes, I'm sorry, plural. Not, it's not a girl. Mercedes was so happy about hitting two million fans on Facebook, it gave the fans a little present. Ferrari and Audi gave their fans, I said fans like 47 times, some burnouts when they hit fan milestones. <laughs> So AMG upped the ante and gave its fans a minute and a half of their C63 AMG Coupe drifting around Laguna Seca. Enjoy, fans!
you'd like to see that entire video, the link is in the description for YouTube folks. All right, that will do it for Fastlane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Hey, Kat, we're on Twitter, aren't we? We are. What is that address? At Fastlane Daily. That is correct. Dot com slash Fastlane Daily. Right, we're also on Facebook, and you can like us there, facebook.com slash Fastlane Daily, and subscribe to us on YouTube, all right? We tell you the news in a funny way, right? Yeah. Give you the car news. It's what we do. Oh, Derek, uh, you missed this part of, I heard this, I didn't say it, about the new, uh. <laughs> <laughs>